Hi everybody, this is Holger Obenaus and this is one of my master HDR tutorials and I'm going to show you how to incorporate HDR technology into commercial photography. My next step is to fix a couple of the issues the HDR photomatics did not properly resolve for my personal taste. One of them is the whitened, still whitened out lamps on the ceiling fan and also the shade of the bedside table lamp. So what I did is I opened up one of the DNGs of the series of seven pictures and added it as a layer, apply a mask and then simply take a brush with in that case probably 65 pixels. I go with an opacity of probably 44% in that moment and I just simply paint over the content which I want to replace. And I will do the same with the lampshade, but with the lampshade I think it's easier to simply just fill it real quick with some white and I take the paint bucket white and I go to 11% and let's look at the picture the light at the ceiling fan and the lampshade I have placed the new DNG on top and I'll zoom in and I'll paint in the content I want. I want to do the chair because so let's fill in about a 80 percent. Mess this part. All right. So I'm taking a brush size of about 100. Now let me take 200 but make the opacity probably like 9% and I'm starting to just add a little bit of shadow where it would apply especially you know where the chair is darker by itself you need to get that feel for it just at the side and a little bit here so it gets I need a smaller brush change it to 65 just a little bit dark here a little bit shadow here. It's a little bit um, extreme here. Let's take a three note brush and just. All right, that looks pretty good to me. The chair kind of starts to get that nice 3D feel and it blends in well with the room. I'm going to use that for brightening up parts of the bed here and the. Um, wall and the ceiling so I'm gonna paint that in real quick and I'm taking a fairly big brush about 400 to 500 pixels and I'm um, making sure I'm doing the whole thing in one stroke so I don't get any marks I'm making sure I'm not lighting up the bed because I like the bed the way it is I like the lamp around the lamp I definitely want to have the uh, the picture in this wall, and um, so I'm adding just a titch here, and now I'm going carefully, and I will probably address that later. The ceiling needs to light up significantly too. I'll be careful around the ceiling fan. Let's see before and after. All right, that looks way more friendly. I will later have a little gradient from the top to give it warmth. We'll have a look at that in a couple of minutes. I will do the touch-ups before I proceed. I will take out, there's a little spot from a, obviously something on the, on the lens up here. I will take out that spot. I will um, 
clean up the picture frames and um, I'll probably take out the little handle shadow here and do touch-ups on the frames. All right, folks, I have continued and cleaned up the picture and I have put all our layers, which we used for the color correction in the picture, in um, a group. And I have named the new layer clean. Now, if you want to see what we started with, this was this. This is the HDR from Photomatics. And we have ended up here. So that's quite interesting. And what I will show you now is how I get rid of that bluish light reflection on this side. And that's a very easy fix. I'm using Nick Software, the ColorFX Pro 3.0. And there is a plugin called Colorize. And I think the color I'm going to pick is more from Lampshade. And I'll use the U point technology, which is this little plus. And I will point in here. And. Uh, Make a little circle. I think algorithm number two looks best. Let me see if I increase the strength and let me zoom in a little bit what happens. Okay. So if I change the strength goes back to the blue. If I add the strength, it gets that slightly yellowish hue and looks much more natural. We just need to find a sweet spot. We might also add another point in the light yellow, a uh, light blue, excuse me. And that looks pretty good. And we have some strange blue down here. That's before and that's after. So the blue is gone and it looks much more natural. 